Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kirti. So today in this video, we're gonna learn about James Webb Space Telescope. So let's get into this video. So as you all know, this James Webb Space Telescope is called WJWST. It's the short form of James Webb Space Telescope. J stands for James, W stands for Webb, S stands for space and T stands for telescope. So as you all know, in the name only, James Webb Space Telescope represents that it is a space telescope. So this is designed to conduct infrared astronomy. So this James Webb Space Telescope is designed to conduct infrared astronomy. Its high resolution and high sensitivity instruments allow it to view objects too old like if we see from this james webb space telescope because it has a high resolution and high sensitivity sensitivity we can also see objects which are too old and even we can see objects which are distant or faint for the hubble space telescope so this james webb telescope enables investigations across many fields of astronomy and cosmology such as observation of the first stars and the formation of the first galaxies and detailed atmospheric categorization of potentially habitable ex exoplanets so what is this so this james wells webb telescope is used to uh, do investigation in many fields so such one of the fields are astronomy and cosmology. So these observations of the James Webb telescope also gives us a detailed information of the first stars and the formation of the first galaxies and detailed atmospheric char char like characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets. So as I told you, this James Webb Telescope is also known as JWST, right? So this is the James Webb Telescope. So this web was launched on 25th December 2021 on a Ariane 5th five rocket from Korau, French Guinea. So this one james webb telescope was recently launched on 25th december 2021 which now we are living in 2024 that means three years away that is on 2021 on a Ariane five rocket or from koreyu french gunia so this james webb telescope was released from french gunia so on January 2022, it arrived at its destination. It was near a solar orbit near the Sun Earth, that is L2 Lagrange point. And this was about 1.5 million kilometers, that is 930,000 miles from Earth. So it was 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. And it was near the solar orbit of the sun and the earth. That is called L2 Lagrange point. So this telescope, this telescope's first image was released to the public on 11 July 2022. Like this James Webb telescope's photo which it took in the space was first released to the public on 11 July 2022. So, the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known as NASA, led Webb's design and development and partnered with two main agencies. So, as we can see here, this NASA led Webb designs, the Webb's design and this used to partner with two main agencies. So, the two main agencies are the European Space Agency that is also known as ESA and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. 
so the nasa also had a space flight center that is called godard space flight center also known as gsfc and this gsfc was in maryland managed tel and this gsfc managed telescope development so whatever telescopes development everything has been done in a space flight center which is located in maryland known as goddard space flight center so while the space telescope science institute in baltimore on the homewood campus of johns hopkins university operates the web so which one operates the web the space telescope science institute institute which is in baltimore on the homewood campus of johns hopkins university so the primary contractor for the project was northrop grumman so this telescope is named after james e webb so why is it named after james e webb because james e webb was the administration of nasa from 1961 to 1968 which means 7 years and this was during the mercury gemini and apollo programs so there was three programs known as mercury gemini and apollo programs this james e webb was the administrator of nasa during this mercury gemini and apollo programs so these mercury gemini and apollo programs has been conducted in between 1961 to 1968 so webb's primary mirror consists consists of 18 hexagonal mirror segments made of gold plated beryllium which together create a 6.5 meter diameter that is 21 feet mirror compared with hubble's 2.4 meter 7 feet and 10 inches this gives web a light collecting area of about 25 square meters about 6 times that of hubble unlike hubble which observes in the near ultraviolet and visible that is from 0.1 to 0.8 micrometer and near infrared 0.8 to 2.5 micrometer spectra web observes a lower frequency range from long wavelength visible light that is red through mid infrared that is from 0.6 to 28.3 micrometer the telescope must be kept extremely cold below 50 kelvin that is minus 223 degree celsius or minus 370 degree fahrenheit so that the infrared light emitted by the telescope itself does not interfere with the collected light its five layer sun shield protects us from warming by the sun earth and moon so what we have learned here these are web consists this uh, web consists of 18 hexagonal mirror segments and that is made of Uh, some different types of metals and this is a very this is very large compared to the hubble telescope so now the initial designs for the telescope then named the next generation space telescope began in 1996 two concept studies were commissioned in 1999 for a potential launch in 2007 and a 1 billion dollars budget in us the program was plagued with enormous cost overruns and delays a major redesign was accomplished in 2005 with construction of construction completed in 2016 followed by years of exhaustive testing at a total cost of 10 billion dollars so what is here they told that um, they named a telescope named next generation telescope so they was uh, they began doing it in 1996 so some concept studies tell us that 
It was commissioned in 1999 for a potential launch in 2007 by $1 billion budget. But the program was delayed. So again, a major redesign was done in 2005 with and this construction completed in 2016. So, so many years they have been done testing and this testing has costed of $10 billion. So, the mass of the James Webb Space Telescope is about half of that of Hubble Space Telescope. Webb has 6.5 meter, 21 feet diameter gold coated beryllium primary mirror made up of 18 separate hexagonal mirrors. The mirror has a polished area of 26.3 meter square that is 283 square feet of which 0.9 meter square that is 9.7 square feet is occurred by the secondary support studs. Given, giving a total collecting area of 25.4 meter square that is 273 square feet. This is over six times larger than collecting area of Hubble's 2.4 meter that is 7.9 feet diameter mirror which has been collecting area of 4.0 meter square that is 43 square feet. The mirror has a gold coating to provide infrared reflectivity and this is covered by a thin layer of glass for durability. So what is this slide saying is that this James Webb Space Telescope is half of the mass of Hubble Space Telescope. And this is again uh, like as we have discussed in uh, uh, back then slides. It is given like metals are covering it and it is made up of many mirrors. So we have studied about the length of the mirrors here and then this says that this space telescope has a mirror of gold coating to provide infrared reflectivity so this is covered by a thin layer of glass for durability web is designed primarily for near infrared astronomy but can also see orange and red visible light as well as the mid infrared region depending on the instrument being used. It can detect objects up to 100 times fainter than Hubble can and objects merge earlier in the history of the universe. Back to Redshift Z20. About 180 million years cosmic time Big Bang. So, the after Big Bang, the, the information given down is just uh, like too confusing so I'm just gonna say it in a uh, easy way so here web is they tell that the web is designed for uh, near infrared astronomy astronomy but this can also see orange and red visible light so as you all know there are seven colors in light you know that colors with gear so this can see orange and red light so this can see more than that of Hubble telescope and it is so good and it is 100 times more than it. It can see so many things like Big Bang etc etc. And the design emphasizes the near to mid infrared for several reasons. High redshift objects have their visible emission shifted into their infrared and therefore the light can be observed only via infrared astronomy. Infrared light passes more easily through dust clouds than visible light. Colder objects such as debris, disks and planets emit more strongly in the infrared. These infrared bands are difficult to study from the ground or by existing space telescopes such as Hubble. So what we have learned in this is that uh, James Webb telescope is better than Hubble. It can see many things in the space and we have learned by which it was named and by which designs had it been recognized etc etc and its mirror count everything. So thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you like this video and subscribe to this channel. So this I hope this uh, James Webb telescope 
video is very useful for you and please comment what else video i have to be doing thank you guys for watching my video i will meet you in the next video bye